What's up, you guys? My name is Tatiana. I'm the CEO of Naturally A1. I provide CMOS vitamins, natural hair care, and skincare products. I also manage all of the social media pages for my business and also my man's business as well. And I also have a few partnerships with small businesses providing, you know, um, marketing for their products or services. So that's just a little bit about me. The purpose of my channel is just to share my entrepreneur journey with you guys and just share information that I have learned about um, business or finances. I've bought so many courses, read so many books, so I'm just here as a vessel of information for you guys. That's the purpose of my channel. The past videos that I've been doing have been on grants. Now, grants, you don't have to pay back. Now, if it is a loan, you do have to pay back, but I'm providing specifically grants that you do not have to pay back, so it's no strings attached to you guys. Now, on these videos, I will be walking you through the application and showing you how to um, apply and showing you the questions that they are asking of you. So be prepared for that. And also, don't forget to like this video. And also, if um, you're not eligible to apply for any of the grants in this video, definitely share this video with someone that you think it will be eligible to apply. Um, yeah, share this with them. Give them that information. Also, subscribe to my channel for more information. And um, with that being said, I'm going to get started on the video and pull up the first grant for today. So the first grant is by Hello Atlas. They have been uh, providing a lot of grants lately. Now, this is one that they are providing right now. It is um, a grant called the 10K Sage and the Boss Networks Invest in Progress Grant. So let's read a little bit about this grant. So the Boss Network and Sage Invest in Progress Grant is offering $10,000 grants to help Black women entrepreneurs in need of funding and support for their small business. Eligible business owners can apply to the Boss Network and Sage Invest in Progress Grant by letting us know about your experience, commitment, and plans for the funds. 25 owners will... 25 owners will each be awarded a $10,000 grant and one year of monthly mentorship through Boston University, an online program that helps Black women successfully start and grow a business. Everyone who applies receives free access to the thousands of curated resources in a community of nearly 600,000 small business owners on Hello Atlas. Now, to qualify for the Boss Network and Sage Invest in Progress grant, you must be a Black woman identifying entrepreneur who is the leading executive founder for, of a for-profit small business founded in the last five years, have a demonstrated need for funds, be willing to participate in a virtual mentoring program. And the deadline is February 25th, 2022 at 6 p.m. So don't wait to apply, apply now. So we're going to go look at the application. All right, so this is the application. Now, they do give um, a little bit more information here. It kind of looks like the same information that we just went over. Now. This is the beginning of the application. So um, you're gonna answer these questions here. Are you the founder or co-founder of the business for which you are applying for this grant today? Do you identify as a black female entrepreneur? Are you currently a member of the Boss Network? If selected as a grant recipient, are you willing and able to participate in a mentorship program as defined in the terms and conditions? If selected as a grant recipient, are you comfortable participating in PR, in marketing, photography, videography, or, and or media interviews? 
All right, and then they ask, if selected as a grant recipient, are you comfortable with Hello Alice and or the Boss Network following up with you to understand how you invested the grant and its impact on your business? The next one is, how did you hear about the Invest in Progress grant program? Now you will select how you heard about them. And um, if you heard about them another way, then you will put it there in that box. All right, now the next section, they wanna know about you. All right, so you'll put your first and last name. What's the best phone number to reach you if your application moves forward? What is your email address? What is your gender identification? What race do you identify as? Do you identify as LGBTQ? Do you consider yourself to be an individual with a disability or disabilities? Do you have any military affiliation? What is your age range? What was your path to business ownership? Are you looking to raise money now? And um, you'll select one of these here. The next section, they wanna know what you do. So you'll put your business name first and you will put here whether your business is a nonprofit, a sole proprietorship, partnership, LLC, C corporation, S corporation, unincorporated or other. And they wanna know what year was your business founded. Okay. And then they want your EIN number. If you don't have it, then they say that you can put non-applicable right there. And um, they want your business address. Now, this question does not have an asterisk on it, so you don't have to give the address if you don't want to, but they do want you to put your state. So put your state. Um, what is, now this information I would uh, put in because if they need to look at it, you know, um, you know, why not give them the inf more information so they can look into you more. So you're going to put your business website, if you have a Facebook page, your business Twitter, Twitter handle, what is your business's Instagram handle. Um, please select your business industry. So you'll click your business industry. If your business industry isn't up here, of course, you can enter it right here. Um, how would you describe your business? What are the products and services that you offer? All right, and then they're asking, including yourself, how many employees does your business have? What was your annual gross revenue for 2021? What is your expected annual gross revenue for 2022? And the um, next section here, they want to learn about your challenges as a small business owner and how they can help you. So the first question that they're asking is, have you been turned down for a business loan from a traditional bank in the last five years? Um, how would you articulate your business, your current business outlook? What is your top business goal in the next five years? What is the biggest obstacle or challenge that your business will face? So you'll let them know here, they have a few options. And they want you to elaborate on your biggest obstacle or challenge in two sentences or less. Next, they want to know, have you received support or resources from other business support organizations like workshops, coaching, or taking part in an incubator? All right. And then um, they want to know the organizations that you work with if you have. Now, the next question is, which of the following do you plan to use this grant primarily for? So they have some options here, either, you know, generating operating expenses like rent, licenses, or cost of goods, um, developing a new product or service, hiring new employees, payroll for existing employees, marketing, advertising, or other. And they want you to elaborate on how you intend to use this grant funding, be as specific as possible. In addition to funding, which of these resources would be most helpful to your business? So either um, you need one-on-one -on -one coaching for business experts, group mentorships with business experts, help finding suppliers and vendors, software products and training on how to use tools like QuickBooks, um, access, oh, getting tongue -tied. access to professional services like designers, marketers, web developers, and more. You can read that. But um, I think that's what's great about this is they're providing money and mentorship, you know. Um, so the next one, let's see. 
They want to know about your business and community. They want to know how you make a positive impact on the, on the community through your core business. Um, they want to know, in addition to your core business proposition, does your company do anything more for the community? And then they want to know, does your business engage sustainability practices? And you'll select which one applies. Now, um, they say that this is the most important part. So let's read here. It says, this is your one opportunity to share with us everything else we need to know in order to make this funding decision. You have 250 words per question. Use them. Help us understand and connect with you and your business. Read each question carefully and do your best to answer them fully. If you haven't done so yet, consider taking some time to watch this pro tips workshop to help you get started. So they even have a little workshop to help you out before you start this section. So the first question, they want to know more about you. Why did you become a small business owner? What's the origin story of your business? Okay, now being specific as possible, they're just trying to get to know you. Um, the next question is, what impact do you plan to have in the lives of the customers and or clients that you serve? Be descriptive as possible, guys. Don't one sentence them, okay? They're really just trying to get to know you in the aspect of your business. Next, they want to know who is your current target market and how does the product service you are providing meet their specific needs, all right? And then the next one, we want to hear what makes you proud of your business. Have you received any business awards or accolades to date? What would you consider to be your biggest accomplishment? All right, and then the last one is how important is having access to business mentoring to you. That right there is very, very important. So be descriptive as possible. All right, now these, this is the final section. They have so many questions. So you guys are going to definitely have to um, set up some time to do this because you don't want to rush through the application. All right, so the next question is, sorry guys. I'm on my alarm. I do not know why. All right. So the next question is, please declare if you and or your company have any conflict of interest. Conflicts of interest are not limited to, but may include a company employee's family member being employed by the boss network or SAGE or a boss network or SAGE employee being financially invested in your company. All right. And they said, select like the yes to conflict of interest. Please explain if no put in a because there is an asterisk right there so still fill out that box now next they want to know if you agree to their privacy policy now you can click here and read their privacy policy before clicking yes so next is hitting submit you're finally done after this long process of applying for this grant so by clicking submit, I agree that I am sharing my application with the boss network. The boss network may contact me by using the contact information above that I have read and agree this program terms and conditions. So y'all make sure that y'all put updated information like your phone number, email, because they will be contacting you in these ways. And then when you're done, press submit. And that is it for this grant. Now, this grant is pretty lengthy, so like I said before, just set some time aside to apply so you're not trying to brush it. You know, you want to be as transparent, as genuine as possible, and just give them a little bit of insight on what you're going through in your business and why you need this money. All right, now with that being said, I'm going to pull up the next grant for you guys. Well, this next grant is uh, by Capital One Business. It is um, <clears throat> a grant program for Black-owned businesses. All right, let's learn a little bit more information. So this is Capital One's commitment to building um, resilient futures. So they go along to say, despite the significant increase of Black-owned businesses over the last several years, um, Black business owners have long faced a disproportionate number of challenges, many of which have been exacerbated, excuse me if I mispronounce that, by the COVID-19 pandemic, including a lack of access to capital and digital adoption. 
To address this need, we are pleased to announce Capital One Businesses Grant Program to help build resilient futures for Black-owned businesses, which will officially launch on March 10, 2022. So this application has not launched yet, but that is the launch date. In participation with the Association for Enterprise Opportunity, this program will award $10,000 grants to 150 Black-owned businesses. All right, so in addition, all business owners can access free resources to help move their business forward through the Capital One's Business Hub, which features insights and actual advice from real business owners. All right, so you guys heard that March the 10th, mark your calendars, okay? And um, $10,000 award, only 150 um, Black-owned businesses will be selected. Now, because it's not started now, um, it, as you can see, it will open in March 2022. So in the meantime, if you're interested in applying for this grant, please fill out the following form. And the team at AEO will be in touch once the application process opens. So you'll just get updates about the grant for now. I definitely advise you to go up here and fill this form out because once the grant opens, you can be one of the first people to apply. As you can see, they're only selecting 150 people. So make sure you get your, um, you, you make sure you fill out this form and get updates about the grant, okay? So they're just asking for your first name, last name, email, business name, business zip code, role of business, and you'll click submit and you'll get updates about this, okay? Now also just put this in your calendar, maybe remind yourself a week before or two days before, you know, that's what I do so I can remember certain things, but um, also fill out this form. I will have the link in the description below. All right, so that's it for this grant. I will pull up the next one for you. All right, guys, so this is the next grant. It is the Creative Entrepreneur Accelerator. So let's read a little bit about this one. The Creative Entrepreneur Accelerator Grant Program provides creative entrepreneurs with small business consulting and up to $2,000 in critical financial resources to grow businesses and revenue. 51% of the funds available for distribution in this program will be reserved for Black, Indigenous, or persons of color, BIPOC, or individuals residing in communities identified by the Small Business Administration Low Income Communities Map. And you got a little link here, so you can see if that applies to you. The Art Council is administering this grant on behalf of the PA Council on the Arts for the Allegheny, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, Beaver, Green, and Washington counties. The application date deadline is um, February 15, 2022. The next deadline date is May 15, 2022. And then the next one is August 15, 2022. So um, for this grant, you do have to create an account with them in order to be, um, in order to access the application. Um, I did create an account so I can show you guys what to expect. Um, with this application, but let's read a little further. They're gonna give us more information. So um, the eligibility and guidelines. So the grant, this grant, uh, uh, sorry, this grant program offers $500 to $2,000 for support of creative entrepreneurs starting a business or currently operating a micro business with gross revenue less than $200,000 in Allegheny, Beaver, Green and Washington counties. Eligible applicants must participate in creative fields such as marketing, art, architecture, visual arts, crafts, design, film and media, digital games, music, entertainment, publishing, and or similar creative field. So creative entrepreneurs are eligible to apply for the Creative Entrepreneurs Accelerator Program once every three years. Nonprofit organizations are not eligible for funds through this program. I'm sorry, guys, but if you are a nonprofit organization, this doesn't apply to you. All right, so it's telling you here that applicants must um, be 18 years of age or older and live in Allegheny. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with that. Um, Beaver Green or Washington counties. Manage a business with gross revenue of less than $200,000 or intend to form a, or operate a business in Pennsylvania. Operate in one or more of the following creative industries. So these are just industries that we literally just went over earlier up here. 
All right, so I will not be reading that again. <laughs> All right, so um, just a little more information on their page here. Now I'm gonna pull up the application again. You do have to create an account with them in order to, um, you know, get the application. Fill it out, give me one second. All right, so this is, once you create your account, this is what their portal looks like. This is the application. All right, so the first question they're asking is your race. Um, remember they're doing like persons of colors and for black people as well. They want to know what gender you identify as, male or female, um, pronouns that you identify as, are you a person with a disability? Um, now, this information, does the applicant already operate a business in the arts? Click yes or no. Um, they want the name of your business, um, your business address. They want you to select which um, creative industry that you are in. Um, they want a business description in one or two sentences. Please describe your business. Next, um, they want to you to tell them how much money you're requesting. It cannot exceed the two thousand um, dollars a referral form. So um, you'll upload a file for that. It says after you have met with one of our designated referral partners and they approve your business plan, they will give you a signed referral phone form. Please upload that form here. So you upload it there. They want your business plan. Um, they want you to upload a file for that. Um, the budget, if a budget is included in your business plan, please upload your budget here. Budget needs to express projected income and expenses for the year you'll be using the CEA grant. And next here, they want some work samples, a resume, um, a video, so they don't accept video uploads, so you'll just have to put a link into the video. And um, the next section is representation and warranties. The applicant makes the following representations and warranties to the Greater Pittsburgh Arts Council effective as of the submission of this application. The applicant hereby represents and warrants to the best of his knowledge and belief that you know that the information is true and correct. The applicant has ongoing operational businesses and received an audit. And uh, you guys can see that here, but um, you'll click that you certify that the above is true. And then um, they have a section called feedback. So um, they want you to complete the following survey with this link here. And um, they said that the, please note that the submission of this data is helpful for describing the status of the nonprofit art sector, but will not be used to determine eligibility or grant award amounts. And then literally here, you will submit your application. All right, so that is it for that one. Let me pull up the next grant for you guys. All right, guys. So this next grant is called the Paul Perfetta Entrepreneur in Residence Program. Okay, it says here that they provide training access and support to Black, Indigenous, and people of color who are interested in becoming high-tech, high-growth entrepreneurs. The EIRs receive a financial dependent access to entrepreneurial training and mentors and an opportunity to build startups grounded in university intellectual property partnered with researchers. So it says that the inaugural cohort will start in the spring of 2022. These are some key dates. Applications are open. Program dates March 7th, 2022 to September 2022. You can apply right now. Here is what you will get with this grant. So you will get a stipendent of $13,000 over the course of six months, provided in monthly installments. And um, next, you'll get programming access to all VentureLink entrepreneurial programs, including cohort educational session linkups and coffee club residency, expected five days um, working and learning. 
a week. This does not need to be in the venture link co-working space, but must be productively spent. And then you get networking. So you have access to one-on-one -on -one consulting and support from the NJII Entrepreneurship Division mentorship from industry and startups expert, experts and connections to investors. All right, so that's a lot that you get with this program here. Now, the eligibility requirements. It says this program supports Black, Indigenous, and people of color only. You do not need entrepreneur experience to be qualified for this program. We are open to individuals of all professional backgrounds, although we do look for people with entrepreneur aptitude and the tendency to build a high growth startup. So here it shows a few of the requirements for eligibility. So one, BIPOC individuals are eligible for this program. Funding is provided by a generous gift from Paul Profeta to expand entrepreneur opportunities for these communities. Number two, Newark NYC or Northern NJ based. So individuals interested in this program must be located within the community commuting distance from Newark, New Jersey. That's where I'm from. But anyway, number three, um, high school graduate GED. You need a minimum of a high school diploma or GED to apply, but continuing education is preferred. And four, entrepreneur spirit is required, but no entrepreneur experience is needed. We're looking for individuals who are open to risk and feedback, willing to think creatively and act flexibly, and those who focus on outcome and results. All right, and then this is the application process. Submit your application here, and then um, you get an interview, and then project section details will be provided if applicant makes it to the step and for selection. All right, and then you will click apply now. All right, I already had that tab open, but look at this. It says um, it takes seven minutes, seven minutes, y'all. So let's start this process. All right, they want to know your full name, so you'll let them know your full name. Next, they want your email address, so you'll put the best contact email address in right there. Next, this pro program is funded by a generous grant from the Paul Profeta Foundation in support of Black and Latin ex entrepreneurs. Before answering the application questions, can you please tell us your ethnicity? So I'll let them know your ethnicity here. Me, I am Black. All right, now, right here, it says now the application content, there are three pieces to this section, your background. For this, we'd like to review your resume and understand your entrepreneurial experience, if any, your why, what makes you interested in this program, your mind, a project for us to understand how your entrepreneur mind works. All right, so let's hit continue. They want us to upload our resume right here. So upload your resume. Right, the next, do you have any entrepreneur experience starting or working for early stage companies, training or education, other? They said this is not mandatory to be considered for the program. They just want an understanding of your background. So uh, you will put that information in right there. Next, they want to know, they want you to explain why you're interested in being part of the venture link. Um, entrepreneur and residence programs. So they want you to be clear and concise. They're not looking for a novel. <laughs> so they don't want like a long description, just tell them straight up. Okay, and on the last section here, they say, take a look at the NJIT intellectual property database available online link. Please select a technology that you believe has commercial potential and write a one page business plan using the business model canvas as a, as a template. So they have um, templates that you can click on here and then you will um, choose file and upload that and then you will hit submit for your application. And that is all that is to that application. I will have the link in the description below for you. And so thank you for sticking it out. This will be the last grant that I provide you guys on this.
video today. So this grant right here, I'm sorry, I'm scrolled all the way to the bottom. So this one is uh, funded by Avino and it's called Skin Health Startup Accelerator. So um, they have some information here. At Avino, we are committed to helping create a more diverse, inclusive, and equitable skincare industry. That's why we're building on our long-standing partnership with Essence to provide access, education, resources, and opportunity for Black female identifying entrepreneurs looking to grow their skincare or hair care brands. Together, we want to support those entrepreneurs whose ideas and solutions have the power to profoundly impact the health and beauty of all skincare and for hair types. All right, so here it says, um, Avino Skin Health Startup Accelerated Pitch Competition. So this is a competition. So if you're competitive, go ahead and enter here. It says that you could win $100,000 for your beauty business, ongoing mentorship opportunities from Avino, business leaders and industry experts in the trip to Essence Fest. All right, so are you a black female identifying entrepreneur with a product brand or technology that meets the skin or hair care needs of black consumers? We're looking for an up and coming innovator of beauty products who harnesses the power of natural ingredients to address the needs of all skin or hair types. We're talking moisturizers, serums, body lotions, cleansers, and more. And then they tell you here how to enter. You hit the enter now button and fill out the form. And um, it shows here that they start on February 2nd and they will be ending on April the 30th. So you have plenty of time, but I always encourage you to go ahead and apply now because sometimes we can forget, you know, so go ahead and apply now. They want you to tell them your why, create a one or two minute video introducing yourself, your business, and why you got started. Explain how natural ingredients play a key role in your biz, in your products and your business. And it says, if you prefer, lean into modern video storytelling and provide a vertical video. And three, they want you to upload your video, review required information, and submit. So we're going to hit enter now. And it will take us to where we need to enter this. All right, so they go up again, the areas of um, interest. They let you know their judging criteria. Um, the judging criteria is uniqueness of idea, advances skin health for dark skin tones, brand incorporation, utilization of natural ingredients, potential impact on human health, feasibility of idea, thoroughness of approach, identification of key resources and plan to further idea scalability must be at least 51% owned by a black female identifying person or as a CEO who identifies as a black female. All right, so going through the process here, um, you put your first, your last name, your email, your phone, your phone number, and then put up a really good image of yourself and then they want your business name, your brand URL, um, your business address, city, state, zip code. Um, if you have a Twitter, put in your Twitter, the number of your followers. If you have an Instagram, put your Instagram, the number of Instagram followers. Your same goes for Facebook. And then they want you to select the product categories that apply to your business, right? You guys can see that list right there. And then does your business provide products for sensitive skin consumers? You answer yes or no. Approximately how many years have you been in business? All right, and then how did you hear about the Skin Health Startup Accelerated Pitch Competition? We have a few options there. Um, and then next, why should your business be selected as a Vino you know, Skin Health Startup Accelerator finalist? And then the very last thing they want you to do is to upload a one to two minute video to so them more about you and your product. And um, yeah, they're letting you know to lean towards the modern video like social storytelling and provide a vertical video. And then after you upload your video, you're gonna click, um, I meet all eligibility criteria for the contest. And I have read and agreed to the official rules. Click, I am not a robot and then click apply now to submit that. All right, so I will leave the link 
for this one as well in my description. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me to the end. So those are five grants that you can apply for right now. Now, again, if um, they don't apply to you, just share this video with somebody that you think would be um, interested in applying for the grants. All right, now that is all the information that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like and um, subscribe to my channel for um, more information. That concludes this episode. I'll see you guys on the next episode.